idea how many times I've tried starting this video. I just don't know how. I never thought I'd be the person to do a video like this and hi! <laughs> Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. Oh welcome for the first time. If you, if you haven't been here before, wow, this is this is a first video to enter to, but my name is Angie. I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful makeup, and the fact the 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 fact that I am able to do a video like this showing you something that I've helped create. I never thought something like that would be possible. I, In the beginning of YouTube, I just thought that you had to be a certain kind of way to be able to get any kind of opportunities. And I've been told so many times that the way that I do my makeup, it's not flattering, it's not mature, it's not grown up, it's not the way you're supposed to do makeup, it's not, it's not right. And the fact that I have the opportunity now to just bring a little bit of fun, a little bit of brightness and color and just experimentation into more people's lives. It's beyond belief. I'm going to present to you the palette that I have created together with Kaleidos and I have never been more excited to film a video in my entire life. So if you're interested in that, let's get into it. I've been told so many times on YouTube that my makeup looks like clown makeup. But you know what? I am one happy clown and I have no problem with being a clown in a sea of makeup that you only do because you have to. I want to show you makeup that you can do because you want to. And it doesn't mean that it has to be colorful. It can be whatever you want it to be as long as you're doing makeup that you want to do. Not because you think people are expecting something from you. Not because you feel like you need to do a certain kind of makeup. Do the makeup that you like. And that is what this channel is about. Trying different kinds of techniques, different kinds of colors, different kinds of color combinations to see what we actually like. And maybe you're like me, maybe you like everything, and maybe you don't, and that's perfectly fine. I am just so thrilled to be showing you this palette that I have been working on with Kaleidos. Kaleidos asked me this summer, uh, June, before they released the Escape Pod palette, he asked me if I wanted to work together with them, and I read the mail, like, I read the mail in the middle of the night. I read the mail in the middle of the night, and I got so excited. I got so excited, oh my god, <clears throat> I got so excited that I got out of my bed and I just, I, I just started like dancing next to my bed and my husband was like, well he wasn't even my husband at the time because this was the summer before we got married, and he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, my favorite brand just said that they want to do palo with me. So excited we're here. Wow, that turned out more emotional than I thought it was gonna be. I had to take a little break, but I'm just I'm just so excited. This is the Club Nebula palette. This is a collaboration between Kaleidos and me, Anielka Nyqvist. That is how you say my name, by the way. And this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette that's coming at you the 19th, which is next Tuesday, and I could not be more excited. This this palette. It's so hard to explain. I've done so many videos on my channel, creating my own palettes, doing like what I wish a palette would be. So when I was asked to do a palette together with Kaleidos, I tried to be like, not only do my perfect palette, because this is my perfect palette, but I also wanted to do something that made sense for Kaleidos as a brand. And something that, first of all, wasn't a dupe to anything in their brand, because these are 15 eyeshadows, unique eyeshadows, not dupes of anything or repeats of anything in their collection. They're created exclusively for this palette. I just wanted to make something that fit the brand, was still unique for the brand, something that complemented the shades they already had, but also was so perfect for me, like my brand, like Angelica, my brand. So quite early I decided on nebulas to be the inspiration because nebulas are, of course, space themed and Kaleidos has done so many things that are space themed and I also said my perfect eyeshadow is a dark, colorful matte 
and that is something that I always feel is lacking in so many palettes. So in this palette we packed as many as possible. So are you prepared to see the inside? Because like I said, the theme Nebula, and we named it Club Nebula because it ended up being so sultry and so sexy, but still wearable and fun that a nightclub theme seemed very appropriate, especially uh, with this dark like blue packaging and everything. So and this is what the palette looks like. I can't believe I'm showing you this. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. This is the Club Nebula palette, it's 15 shades, it's everything I ever dreamed of, it's all of those things that I love to see in an eyeshadow palette. It's a mix of shimmers and mattes, it goes from deep to light and there are so many different textures and it's just so fantastic. There are one, two, three, four, five, six shimmer, metallics, duochromes even multi-chromes, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mattes. This palette goes pretty cool toned, but you do have some warm tones here at the bottom to play with. I am wearing, of course, these three shades here at the bottom on my eyes to today. I did film this look. There's going to be a three looks with this palette up on Monday, so you can see different looks with this. So that's going to be the day before it launches. Launches on the 19th, and I just wanted deep colorful mattes. So we have the deep green, the deep blue, the deep, this is like a taupey, taupey grayish purple. It's a wonderful shade that's very neutral, but still very deep. And then you have the dark purple here, a dark red, and then you have the peach matte, because I love a peach color, especially together with the red. Yummy, it also will work so good together with this purple. And then you have this taupey, it is like a very taupey grayish nude with a slight pink undertone and I was very sure that I wanted a shade like this in the palette because maybe you feel like sometimes you just want to do it a bit more neutral. This shade will go with any of the deeper shades if you want to have a look that's a little bit more toned down. So you can use this one with either this or this or this or this or this to create a look that is not as bold. If you want something that starts out a little bit more like neutral, this one will take down any look from the very colorful to something more like not natural but neutral. And then of course you can always deepen up with this rock copper shade, I will explain the names in just a little bit, which is this more neutrally grayish, almost purple leaning taupey gray. That will also work together with like this one, for example. And you can just, same here, deepen up a look without going the colorful route. So I include these shades specifically to go with these colors that are in here if you wanted to tone it down a bit. But it was very important for me to have both a light one and a dark one that was more on the neutral leaning spectrum so that if you wanted to not go super bold, you have the option. Because I realized that for some people, one colorful shade in the look is fine and okay, and that's enough. So I just wanted to give you an option. And I also wanted to put this palette up in a way so that it was super easy for you to know which shades go together. So this full row up here, all of these shades will go together. You can use this one with either of the deep or this one with either of the deep. And then you have this one, Firefly, that is a like a green to a purple. And it's the same with these shades here. This one will go so well with this one, but you can also use the red one with the purple, which I have done today, or you can deepen up with this one. This one will go so well with any of these shades. I just tried to group them together. Sorry about any background noise, they're still building the house behind me. I tried to group them together in a way that if you're not feeling experimental and if you're not sure how to group these together, I grouped them together so you can use them together with the shades that are next to them and it's not too, I don't want to say challenging, but just makes it a bit more easier. So let's just swatch them and I will show you. And I'm going to leave some extra info down below, like the time it's releasing, for example, because I realized that my audience is like all over the world. So I am going to give you like the time zones down below in the description box together with some extra info about this palette. So if there's anything that you feel like, why didn't you mention that in the video? It's probably in the description box. And of course, if you have any additional questions that aren't in the description box, 
you can always ask me and if you have any questions about like shipping or ingredients or stuff like that it's maybe easier to ask Kaleidos because I don't work in the factory and I also don't work in shipping. So the first shade is called Firefly. I did name all of these shades and the shade names are underneath each and every one of these shades. If you are a die-hard sci-fi fan some of these shades will make a lot of sense for you all of these shade names are space themed some of these shade names are a bit more of a geeky reference this is firefly it is a purple to a lime green duochrome it is absolutely stunning i will of course show you uh, some close-up swatches in a bit but this is a purple to a lime green duochrome it is a sheer base meaning that you can layer this on top of any of these shades and they will depending on what shade you're using and what lighting you are putting it in it will go from like I said a purple to a lime green if you know Firefly is an amazing sci-fi series that unfortunately was cancelled way too early um I'm so sad about it there will be some really geeky references uh, in this uh, palette so if you are a fan of geeky references this could be for you I'm a geek at heart Next one is this turquoise matte. This one is called Seven of Nine. And yeah, if you if you know me, you know that I love Star Trek. And Seven of Nine is from my favorite Star Trek series that is Voyager. So I wanted to name a shade after her. I love her. She's amazing. Next shade is Gravity. This is a lime green matte. And, and this is a shade that has more of a space theme name. And this is a beautiful shadow to use either in your crease or on your lid or just as a standalone one shadow look if you want to have just a fun bright green look if you have a bit of a darker skin tone this will also be such a cool inner co corner pop I I wanted to have it you know how I feel about blues and green uh, colors all of the colors I just needed something lime green in my palette there was like no discussion I was like lime green was one of the first shades I said I need I need something lime green <laughs> And that's why there is a lime green duochrome and a lime green matte because I needed that. Next is the first deep matte. This is called Queen of Blades. Who knows where that is from? Oh my, look, look at that matte. Look, ah, oh, look at that matte. Look at that matte. Queen of Blades is one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite games, Starcraft. I used to play Starcraft so much when I was a kid. Love me some Sarah Kerrigan, so I had to name one uh, Queen of Blades. And the next dark matte is called Void, and this is a dark blue. I'll put it here. Like, look, look at that swatch. Kaleidos formula is A plus 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 plus. Look, look at how these look. So this is a dark navy blue. Also, I was like, I need dark mattes. I was like, I need a dark blue, I need dark green, I need dark red, I need dark purple. I... They just really came through. So I was very demanding on like what kind of shades I wanted. And I was like, deep, 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 deep jewel toned colored mattes. Oh. So this is the first row. And there are so many things you can do with this row. These all go together. And this green layers amazingly on top of all of these shadows because it has a sheer base. I love this first row. This is so amazing and it will go so well together with the other rows as well. So let me get into swatching those. The next shadow is You're My Only Hope. This is a extremely high shine, lavender, super sparkly, shimmery shade. This is extremely high shine. You can see like how high shine that is. So this is a lavender metallic with an extreme sheen. And if you know your Star Wars, you know that you're my only hope is Princess Leia talking to Obi-Wan Kenobi. In several of the movies, it's one of the most like key phrases from the movie. And I really wanted to include something Star Wars as well. Next one is the neutral shade. The one that is like a taupe, but this is so pigmented. That is my cat. Yes, sweetie. You would be able to do a one like eyeshadow look with this one. 
no problem at all. It's a beautiful universal taupe. If you have a darker skin tone, this will be a beautiful lid shade together with the rock copper one that I'm going to show you in a bit. The shade named Naru is taken from my favorite game, World of Warcraft. The Naru is like a celestial bean that is like you can see it in all of the games, but I used to play Draenei for so many years and this is especially prominent in the Draenei culture in World of Warcraft. So really wanted to bring something World of Warcraft in here as well, but since this was more of a space themed palette, it wasn't that easy. See? <laughs> It wasn't that easy to get something space themed in, so I decided to go with Naru. This is Astro. This is a multi-chrome. This is a purple to blue to green. I think you can see the greeny turquoise here. This is an incredible shade. I said that I wanted to have at least one dark shimmer in the palette. So this is a blue, purple, green shadow. It is extremely sparkly, extremely high shine. It looks incredible on the lid. And it also has a bit, every of these metallics have a semi-transparent like base, meaning that you can layer them on top of each other, you can blend them together, you can top this one with the lime green firefly and make it even more green. You will see me do that in a look on Monday. And it will also layer so good on top of mattes if you want to change the color. It makes it so versatile, but like you can see, you can also use it on its own and it looks incredible. So this is like a blue to a purple to a turquoise green. It is just... A stunning shadow. Next shadow is the dark, like purpley, gray taupe, and this is rock copper. Uh, this is from my latest look at that swatch. This is from my latest obsession, which is the show The Expanse. If you haven't seen Expanse, you are missing out. I have described The Expanse as Game of Thrones, but in space. Because Game of Thrones is not really a fantasy series, it's more about the intrigues, and so is this one. It's more about the intrigues than actual like being in space, so if you like Game of Thrones, you're gonna love The Expanse. And I love this shadow, like you can see, it's just neutral, but still has a bit of a purpley undertone. It's just a wonderful shadow. Next shadow is the dark purple. This is more of a cool tone purple. Let me put that here. This is called Cylon. Look at that swatch. Look! Look at that swatch. This is called Cylon, another one of my favorite shows, Batstar Galactica. A an iconic classic. Love it. And that's my cat again. Can I, s can I help you? Can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> but this is a beautiful purpley shade. And like you can see, this one, it's not super cool tone. Maybe it's not like that cool tone, but it's so dark that it will go together with any of these other shades. And this is slightly deeper than the red shade. And I do have this to deepen up my outer corner in this look. So this one will go together with basically all of the other shadows in this if you just want to make it a bit deeper and pull it a bit more at the purple direction. But these are the shades from the second row. I can't believe I'm showing you this. It's so exciting. Oh, and you remember that vlog I did when I wore the blue shadow on the lid when I was in Swedish Lapland? This is the shadow that I wore on my lid. Astro. That multi-chrome bluish green turquoise purple. That was the sparkly shade you saw. This entire palette, by the way, is what I wore on that trip, but... Okay, now we're getting into this last row, which is the more like warm leaning row, even though it's not really yellow leaning, meaning that it will go with all of these like greens and blues and purple still. So I just can't believe I'm showing you these. First shade is Celestial. This is a shade that I was also very sure that I wanted. This is a pink to a gold. It is extremely pretty. It's very high shine. It's what I have in my inner corners today. This is a beautiful, it's like a pink to a peach to a gold. It has a bit of a see-through base. It's so pigmented, so pretty, so spectacular. I will also call this a more of a multi-chrome because this one has, like I said, a gold to a peach to a bright fuchsia pink. Extremely pretty shade and it will layer so well on a lot of these shadows. I swear this whole Sue is here. Can't you see mom's trying to have a moment? Hmm? Can't you see that? This is a Nova. 
This is the last shadow that was added to the palette, the last shadow that we agreed on. This is a see-through base. This one still has a little bit of a, like, a beige pigment to it, but this is a see-through base that is filled with cat hair. That is a blue. I think you see a blue here. Or do you see the purple? Because this is a purple to a blue and it almost has a little bit of a pink on the edge as well. This one will layer incredible on top of a lot of these shadows. I will be doing a look on Monday with this one together with the dark blue. But this one, since it has this purple, will go so well together, both with the red and the purple. And this one will layer so good as well on the Astro, the dark blue multichrome that I showed you before to create an even more like sky blue look. But this is... <sighs> I'm gonna do some close-up swatches in a bit and I hope I'll be able to show you some of these shifts. Otherwise, you'll be able to see them in real life because they are very, very visible. This peachy shade was the third shade that I was incredibly sure that I wanted to have in the palette. This one is called Samus. I don't know if you played Metroid when you were kids. I did. I love Metroid. I played it on my Game Boy. And this is a matte peach that is almost like a pastel neon -y undertone because it's very bright but still pastel and a beautiful matte. This one, like I said, all over the lid or like here in the crease to blend out the red. This is just a fantastic, beautiful shade that will just bring a little bit of warmthness to any of these looks. And it's just a nice complementing shades to a lot of these other shadows. This one, and then just layering this one on top and just mixing these all over your lid and some mascara will be the most easy, effortless, out the door look that will give you an amazing sparkly effect. Samus, like I said, is that shade is after the main character of Metroid, which is a beautiful sci-fi computer game or like I played on Game Boy when I was a kid and her name is Samus Aran and I just love playing her. I thought she was so badass. This is the first shadow that I was sure was going to be in the palette and that is why I named it Nebula. This is a neon fiery sparkling peach. It is absolutely incredible. I'll put it here. This is the first shadow that I knew. This needs to be in the palette. It is a peach. It is like a golden peach going to a fiery peach. So it is a duochrome, but it is incredibly like bright and fun. It's what I have on my lid. It is in this is the most incredible shade I've ever seen in my life. I've never ever owned anything similar to this. I've never seen anything similar to this. It does have a base tone to it, so there is a little base to it, even though it does layer beautifully like you can see on top of other mattes. It is just an incredible shade. I've never seen anything like this. And when I started working on this palette, I was like, I need a bright metallic peach to go together with the matte red because my signature look is this red matte peach on the eyes and I've never had it this good. This is perfect. I've never had it this good. This shade, I'm nothing similar in my collection. It is so perfect. You're, you're gonna pass out when you see it. It's just beautiful. And the last shadow is Red Giant. It is a dark dark sultry matte red and it is a stunning matte red i wish that they would just not build on the house right now it is fantastic this is what i have in my entire crease here together with summers and then this one on the lid and this one in my inner corners and a bit of the dark cylon in the outer corner i knew I knew I needed a metallic peach and a dark red and then just all of the other colors just came with time but I was like matte red and the first matte red that they sent me I was like we need to go deeper, we need to go darker because you know me, I love my deep and dark and sultry mattes. Okay let me show you some close-ups while I go and wash my hand but I'm so excited. Oh and I can talk a bit about the PR box, that's gonna be the final thing I touch on.
hope I didn't forget to say anything. I feel like I am so all over the place, but I'm just so excited. I've been... I've been practicing what to say in this video since like June and now that I'm here I'm like what am I supposed to say? I'm so confused but I'm just so happy. This is the PR box. Something small and dainty. Nothing over the top, no video screens, no lights, no trumpets. It is the nightclub. This is the Club Nebula nightclub. This is the gate that you go into. It says Kaleidos. It has the little symbol from the collab and there is a magnetic closure. You open the box and inside you see it's the same pattern and here is the carton box. I showed you that one before. Every palette will come with this box of course and the box has the entrance to the nightclub. Nightclub deep. <laughs> This is for sultry and fun looks. So this is the uh, box palette like this and then the PR box comes with a custom made deck of cards. Same here, the door to Club Nebula and there's a deck of cards. It is a playable deck of cards. So it's the full deck of cards and there is a exclusive print on the back and there is also exclusive symbols and prints on the inside. So this is exclusive to this collection, to this collab, this uh, deck of cards. You will be able to buy both the palette and the PR box separately or together if you want to. Only getting the palette and the cardboard box will retail for 45 US dollars. I'll put all the prices and everything down below. Kaleidos does have free shipping over 100 US dollars if you wanted to do that. And if you have any questions about shipping or prices or stuff like that, I will direct you towards Kaleidos because that is a bit out of my reach. What I have been doing is the more creative part. I just really wanted to create a palette that was my dream palette, something unique for Kaleidos that would also go together with all of their other palettes because there are no repeat shades throughout this from their other palettes, but I have designed this specifically to not only go together with the colors in here, I've also designed it specifically to go together with all of the other Kaleidos palettes that exist and together with neutral shadows if that is something you want. So I try to tone them down a bit, just bring the saturation down, make them more jewel tone so that these will mix and match together with neutral shadows if that is more your speed. If you're more into neutrals and you just wanted to get a pop, this could be your pop because they will go together with neutral shadows as well. I think that was everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. I, I never in a million years thought that I'd be doing a video like this. This is so much harder than this. <laughs> you feel like you forget so many things and I really hope I didn't. Thank you so, like, words cannot describe how thankful I am. Not only for like you being here and enabling me to have an opportunity like this, because of course, if I didn't have you as an audience, I would never have been able to do something as fun as this because this has truly been a dream come true. But also for being so, you're so smart and kind and supportive in the comments, on Twitter, on Instagram, here on YouTube, in the DMs, uh, in mails, like it doesn't go unnoticed. I truly, I'm so happy that you are the, the people that are here. I feel like I have such a fun, positive and, and, and grown up audience. And I do get that comment from other influencers, from other content creators telling me that when they read through my comments, they find such insightful, fun, mature, smart, and just wonderful comments. So doesn't go unnoticed, not only by me, but also by others. Like, people notice that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's probably super long. Uh, that's how it is. I had a lot of things to say. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me reveal this palette. I hope you enjoyed the swatches. I hope you enjoyed hearing my geeky tidbits on why I named some of the shades the way I did, because I just wanted to make sense for the theme and also for me and I feel like you can pick points on how many of the geeky references <laughs> that you can get. Um, I'm just so grateful. The launch will be on the 19th. I will have a one palette three looks up on the 18th so you can see this palette in action. I will also have a get ready with me with a fourth look coming up. I don't know exactly when but real soon and I'm just so happy and so grateful and thank you Kaleidos for believing in me and working with me. This has been so much fun. I'm just so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And like I said on the back of this palette, there's a quote for me that says, the Club Nebula palette is a collection of my favorite shades for my favorite people. <laughs>